control and coordination. Coordination in plants. Animals have a nervous system for controlling and coordinating the activities of the body. But plants have neither a nervous system nor muscles. So, how do they respond to stimuli? Plants exhibit two types of movements. Movement dependent on growth and movement independent of growth. Let us study the first one. Movement dependent on growth. Take a look at this illustration. The pea plant climbs up fences with the help of tendrils. These tendrils are sensitive to touch. Let us understand two terminologies here. Trophism and geotrophism. What does trophism mean? It is the directional movement of the plant. This is called as trophism. Geotrophism. Plant parts grow in direction of light or gravity. Roots always grow downwards and stem upwards. This movement under the influence of gravity is called geotrophism. Let us move to the second point. Movement independent of growth. Mimosa or the Tashminot plant responds to the touch by folding up its leaves and droops. Let's study about hormones in plants. Different plant hormones help coordinate growth, development and response to the environment. These hormones are synthesized at the place away from where they act and simply diffuse to the area of action. Take a look at a few plant hormones and their role. Oxen. It is synthesized in presence of light at the shoot tip. Oxen helps plants to grow longer. Gibberellins. Gibberellin helps growth of stem. Cytokinins. Cytokinins promotes cell division. It is present in fruit and seeds. Abscesses. Abscesses inhibits growth. Example is wilting of leaves. Summary. Can we revise what we learned? Environmental triggers such as light or gravity will change the direction that plant parts grow in. These directional or tropic movements can be either towards the stimulus or away from it. Different plant hormones help to coordinate growth, development and responses to the environment. They are synthesized at places away from where they act and simply diffuse to the area of action.